Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here for another action figure review and unboxing. Today we're looking at this, the Gamerverse Marvel Avengers Ms. Marvel. And over here on the blue tag it just says Advanced. I don't know what that means, I haven't played the game yet. Um, I, I say this every time I open up with these Gamerverse videos that have purchased the game, I've downloaded the game, but I haven't started it yet. Uh, I've been busy with work. And whatever free time I have is trying to push out as many of these videos as possible. But, I have fingers crossed, I'm going to get to that game hopefully this weekend. It's been out for a while, and I know they've been updating it every now and then. So, I want to check that out. Alright, first off, I gotta say, I'm an old man who can, who can be bitter and it is not open to uh, like new things. I can be very close-minded. Um... Now, when I see the words Ms. Marvel, I have a very distinct image of that character and who it should be. Uh, I don't like it when they give me a new Batman. I don't like it when they give me a new Wolverine. I just want my Logan as Wolverine. I just want my Bruce Wayne as Batman. Unless it's Dick Grayson. I love Dick Grayson as Batman. Um, I don't like anyone else playing Iron Man other than Tony Stark. I like Bruce Banner as the Hulk. I love... Uh, but then again, I could be kind of backwards because I do enjoy the fact they always give us new Green Lanterns. Um, you know, I love Jessica Cruz. I love Simon Baz. I love Hal Jordan, Jon Stewart. Even with Thor, you know, they'll get, give us new Thor characters. I love the Frog. I love Beta Ray Bill. But for some characters, it, I'm always married to certain ideas. Like, I was very, I don't know, very indifferent to Ms. Marvel. This iteration of Ms. Marvel. I I wasn't reading Avenger comics during this time period. Um, I remember seeing covers with her and seeing her with the giant hands or whatever. And I'm like, it looks silly. And then when I, later on when I found out it was just a teenage, a teenage girl, I'm like, that's just silly. But I changed my tune uh, when I watched the... Um, the Marvel 616 documentaries on Disney Plus. And then when you see how important the character is to other people and how inspirational a character like this uh, is for like um, girls and people of a different culture, it made me realize how much of a dick I was <laughs> and that I shouldn't be as closed minded. And I have to remind myself that superheroes can be very generational. Um, like for example, the generation of X-Men that I was introduced to is very, very different than the X-Men that someone else was introduced to. Um, I'm a big fan of Star Trek. Um, even though I was introduced to the original series, um, I became more familiar with the next generation because I was a little bit older and, and I, I understood Star Trek a little bit more. Uh, but then I came to learn that there are people that hated the next generation because they were so married to the original series. Likewise, I'm learning that I have to be more open-minded and that I got to look beyond the label and see the character for what it is and who they are and what they stand for and what they mean to other people. So, was all of that the reason why I bought this action figure? No, of course not. <laughs> Alright, I saw this figure. It was like warming up the pegs at my target. It's no Captain America sold out. Thor sold out. Iron Man's gone. The only Gamerverse figures I see on the shelves are the two-pack with Hulk and the Abomination. And uh, Iron Man in the original Sin Armor packaged with Taskmaster. And this is the only single figure I see on the pegs. And then I looked at it and my first thought was, wow, this is actually a really beautiful sculpted figure. And that's what sold me on this. And I stared at it, and I stared at it, and then I remembered that documentary, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try my best to be more open-minded and embrace this version of Ms. Marvel. And I think it's also because she's very a very prominent character in the new video game, and if I plan on playing the video game, I'm going to have to live with her for a while. So, you've won me over, Ms. Marvel. You teenage heartthrob. You should win at the prom. Okay. Let's get to it. The package design, I love it. I love the really weird looking shaped box. Um, it's colorful. 
I hate the back. Um, they're lazy. They just throw in all the character portraits. It'd be nice for a bio, especially for someone like me who is very uninitiated with the character. Maybe if I learned a little bit more about her, I could relate to her more and I'd probably fall in love with her. But she's under the age of 18, so I can't fall in love with her. I can only appreciate her and hope that she grows into a strong, beautiful woman. All right, Ms. Marvel, let's see how awesome you are. So, so yeah, um, the, the sculpting on the figure wowed me. Um, I've seen the Marvel Legends one. It's not bad, but it's not, there's no wow factor to it. Um, the character, the, the Marvel Legends one looked very standard to me, but the sculpting on, as an artist and as someone that appreciates good s toy sculpts, uh, the sculpting on this figure kind of like really won me over just by looking at it through the packaging. So, with those figures, you get this cool cardboard insert. Feel free to use it as a display piece. Throw it on the floor or on the back of your shelf. Stand your characters on it or pose them behind it. It's awesome. And here we have Ms. Marvel, a.k.a. Kamala Khan. And first impressions in the tray, I'm sold. Um, the sculpting on this figure is beautiful. Uh, for all the years that I've hated on this character just because she looks so out of place with the Avengers, I take it all back. The, the detail on this is great. Just look at the texture that's that's sculpted into their outfit. I don't think you even see that kind of level of detail in the Marvel Legends one. All right, accessory-wise, she has her giant fist. Now, I don't read, I haven't read her comic, and I haven't read the Avenger books with her in it. And I still have to play the game, so I don't know why she has giant fists. I don't know if she has, like, stretch -o powers, like Mr. Fantastic and Plastic Man. Or if maybe this is a full-time thing, and she just always has big hands. But even, just look at the sculpting on the on this. It's so crisp on, their, on the wristband and uh, the texture on it. It's a great looking figure. Her head sculpt is nice too. It's not too cartoony. It looks youthful. Um, she has her scarf. Now you could, I, I would say, you know what? If you even if you have the Marvel Legends one, fudge this one into your Marvel Legends uh, shelf because the level of sculpting and detail is great. Uh, and the fact that she put this is actually a teenage character. The fact that she, that she's shorter doesn't hurt it at all. Like, um, you know, here's a Marvel Legends Captain America. So here we have Steve Rogers, aka Chris Evans, and you stand her, you stand her next to him, and it just screams, "This is a teenager." It's cool. Uh, the sculpting on her is great. The colors are nice and vibrant. Um, yeah, this is dope. I feel so bad that I hate it on this character for so long. Um, you know, not that I'm going to go out all of a sudden and buy every trade paperback with her, but it's like I said, you know, I was I, I could be very close-minded. I, I get very attached to certain things and uh, you know, it just it'll, it'll take me a while to warm up to certain things. Uh, you know, you call something Ms. Marvel, I already have an image of who my Ms. Marvel is. You know, you call someone Batman. I have an idea of who my Batman is. And I always find myself eating crow later and, and I'll fall in love with stuff. Like, I hated the idea of a female Wolverine. But Laura Kinney won me over. I hate the fact that Wolverine has all these clones. But all the Wolverine clones eventually won me over. So, as history has shown, is that as stubborn as I could be, I, I could eventually cave in and learn to love new things. So, Kamala Khan's awesome. If I was a teenage boy, I'd ask her out to prom. Uh, the fact that she could kick out to the sides, great for a budget figure. What's misleading is that um, mid-torso above her skirt, she has this, like, you know, cut across her dress. And it makes you think that she has a waist swivel. She doesn't. Um, her knees, they do that thing where they try to cover the knee joint. And it's not that bad. I, I had a complaint with some of the 
Um, the Mar not the Marvel, the Mattel Masters of the Universe, the female figures where the knee covers the kneecap. But this one looks a little bit more natural. The cut works a little bit better. The fact that on her pants, this blue stripe is, isn't painted on, but it's actually sculpted in. That's a great detail. You know, that should feel like a slight relief on her, on it. It's, it's cool. Lots of beautiful texture. Um, nice, nice portrait for the face. Yeah, this figure won me over. I'm going to have to give this character a chance. Like, when I'm watching that 616 documentary, when you see people this, you know, talking about how important this figure is to them, you know, all of a sudden I feel like the old man who doesn't like change, and then I feel like a dick. I'm like, I've turned into that old man who doesn't like new things. But I want to like new things, you know. And this is definitely a great figure. $9, getter. Even if you don't play the video game, it's a great representation of the character because they don't deviate from the original design all that much. So you can, you can easily put her into your your comic book shelf or even in your MCU shelf because the face sculpt, it's a little the the quality of the plastic looks in the color looks a little bit more cartoony, but it's not that it's not too cartoony. I mean, she has bigger eyes, but it's more it's a much more youthful character. So you could kind of put this in your cinematic universe shelf for in the meantime until they release a figure of that of the new actress. So yeah, um, Kamala Khan, you have won me over. But going back to names and ownership. So like, as I said before, you call something Ms. Marvel, I'm very married to a certain Ms. Marvel. You call someone Batman, I'm very married to someone called Batman. Her name's Kamala Khan. And there's only one person who I believe could take ownership of the name Kamala. And it's this action figure, Kamala the Ugandan Giant. Now, this is a completely different Kamala altogether. This is the pro wrestler. I loved Kamala as a child growing up in the 80s. I was first introduced to Kamala. Take a back seat, Ms. Marvel. We're going to talk about Kamala here. All right, so I was first introduced to this version of Kamala in the 80s. Um, I discovered pro wrestling maybe like in 1984 or 1985. I was at a uh, friend's house. We had a stay. It was a, kind of like an overnight deal because my parents were kind of gone. So we were watching. He was watching pro wrestling. And he was watching Saturday Night's main event. And that was kind of like my first real exposure to pro wrestling. And I fell in love with it. So any waking moment when I was at home, especially on Saturday afternoons, I'd tune into wrestling no matter what it was whether it was wwf on saturday mornings or whether it was like the old when the old local chicago stations would just show like ancient black and white wrestling from back in the day in the city in chicago i'd watch stuff like that um mid-atlantic nwa awa uh you name it i'd watch it as long as there are people wrestling i'd check it out and i'd watch it and then uh, I became a big fan of world-class wrestling out of Texas. And they had the Von Erichs and the Freebirds. And they had a lot of the really colorful characters like One Man Gang. But I'll always remember Kamala, the Ugandan giant. He'd come out. He was this crazy-looking guy. And then he was managed by, I think, General Skandar Akbar. And then his handler was a guy named Kimchi. And... He was so cool, and then when he was in the WWF, he still had the same Kamala gimmick. And it gave me a chance to love him all over again. And then, you know, he at some point in time, either I fell out of wrestling for a little bit, or he left the WWF. And then I learned that there was another Kamala that kind of like used his gimmick. I think it was like Kamala 2. I'm not sure, I think it might have been a different guy altogether that played him. And I think that one, he might have wrestled in All Japan. Uh, pro wrestling. So, um, yeah. I mean, when you say Kamala, and I know this girl's called Kamala Khan. That's her name. Her birth, you know, her birth given name. But there's only one Kamala in my book, and it's this guy. Kamala, the Ugandan giant. Uh, beautiful man. Standing six feet, seven inches tall. He weighs 380 pounds, 
His signature move is the flying splash, and he's from Uganda. I loved it when he'd wrestle and he'd make those like noise like ooh, and he'd start patting his belly. Oh god, that was awesome. I wish he was in the Marvel universe, you know, Kamala. You know, maybe if the Avengers had him on his side, they'd be able to take on Thanos and like, you know, really kick ass and take names. I love you, Kamala. You've given me so many beautiful memories of my youth. And I love you, Kamala Khan, a.k.a. Ms. Marvel. You made me realize that I should give new things a chance and that I should look beyond labels. And that just because you share the name of another Ms. Marvel that I'm very fond of, I should give you a chance, and I'm going to. So, do I recommend this figure? Yes. Easy, 9 out of 10. Um, it doesn't fall short. It is what it is. It's a budget $9 figure, but you get a lot of bang for your buck. The sculpting is on par with the Marvel Legends, even though the articulation isn't. Um, a lot of care went into this action figure. It makes me want to play the video game. Um, she's beautiful. She's awesome. She's only under 18, I believe, so don't fall in love with her. It's not legal. So with that being said, go out. Buy yourself this action figure. My name is Lou. Thank you again for dropping by, and I will see you soon.